G'day, this is Drazid. Today I'm going to run you through setting up and using a DDoS attack. So in order to do this, we will need a malware creator to make the DDoS virus, uh, the remote DDoS software to launch the virus, and of course, uh, the DDoS virus, and at least five NPCs. So DDoS is used to damage the hardware of a target machine. The usage for this is just DDoS, space, and then the IP address. Uh, to make a DDoS virus, all you need to do is, using your malware creator, we write make, space, DDoS, and then we give our DDoS a name. Uh, once this is done, you'll see uh, the little virus icon up here to indicate we are creating a virus. Uh, once that's completed, you get this little bomb icon here, and a dot v DDoS. That is our vit, uh, DDoS virus. Um, and then this is a simple matter of going to each NPC, uh, you need at least five, and then uh, uploading them. Once they're uploaded, you use the install command to install them. Once we have created, uploaded, installed, and activated our DDoS viruses on at least five NPCs, now we can attack. And all we need to attack is a remote DDoS software of any level. The level does not um, increase power or anything. Uh, the level of your DDoS virus does not increase the amount of damage that it does. The only thing that does increase damage is additional uh, slaves. So, to launch a DDoS attack, we just write DDoS and any IP address. Um, obviously it has to be valid, but it does not need to be cracked. We do not need a high water wall. We do not need to break through their firewall. Um, someone could post a IP address in the chat randomly. Use DDoS, bang, DDoS launched. And because we are using, how many slaves we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. We have eight slaves. That is gonna take us three minutes and 60 seconds. It was originally. So about six minutes. Uh, for an eight slave DDoS. If you wanted to drop that down to five slaves, it would be uh, about 240 seconds. So depending on how much damage you want to do versus how much time you need to wait for this DDoS, um, you know, you figure that out. Um, I don't think you can actually, once you activate these, you can't unactivate them. You'll have to delete them, I think, and uh, reacquire them that way you should be able to just turn them on and off but you can't anymore uh, you need to fix that jesse so while this ddos attack is uh counting down i'm gonna have a ciggy because i'm not waiting for this shit. oh fuck just in time all right now that our ddos has completed we can launch now here you can see i've launched a pathetic one out of ten ddos they used uh, very, very poor slaves here. Um, and it has four CPU 1000, network 5, 2.7, and then you're after. So you can see how much damage you've done after the attack. And here it says uh, in your logs that you have done a 1 out of 10 DDoS attack. Now, if we oh, log into our victim. Um, you can see here that in the victim's logs, it also logs that you've done a 1 out of 10 DDoS damage uh, to, this is his IP address here, and it also lists all the slaves that you've used. So if you really wanted to, you could very quickly log into all these slaves, um, delete your logs, and you would be invisible. And that is how you launch a DDoS attack.